Let's do this. Last time we discussed how golden games hurts the overall enjoyment of the game and how to fix it. But right now we are gonna talk about real-time strategy games, one of my favorite genre. Uh, did I play quite a lot? So Uran spilled the cotton tea already. The problem is difficulty. All right, let me give you a question. What? makes you play games and i mean there's a many answers to that yeah i enjoy that i enjoy that but there is one thing that keeps us playing and that is a challenge there are challenges we overcome in the games right and the better the challenge is done in the game the more enjoyable and the longer you will play the game which makes it quite more profitable even for the companies in competitive games like League of Legends, the challenge is simple. It is the players. And I mean, what is more fun than pawning noobs and climbing the artificial ladder of success? But what about strategy games where most of the time you play single players? And I know StarCraft 2, for example, is an exception. But right now we are talking about strategy games like Warhammer 2. When we talk about it, it's a great time because Warhammer 3 is up in the way. Let's hope it is pretty soon. Past the learning experience, how do we introduce challenge into the game? The difficulty settings, right? So we have amazing battles, cool stuff, explosions, magic, everything. The difficulty is shit. Currently strategy games and other games have such a bad mentality when it comes to difficulty. So what makes the difficulty so shit? Um, <laughs> yeah, I know. Let's make the difficulty the most rage inducing thing we can. Legendary difficulty on Shamap? We have to make it interesting. Let's make the AI cheat as much as we can. Spawning billions armies without following the same rules as the player does. Having practically no upkeep? Check! Now you have trouble with all the enemy armies. So let's make your upkeep much higher. Not only the enemy cheats, infinite money, you have increased upkeep. Not enough for you, my dear. Your public order has also a negative effect, so expect rebellions. Thank god that there are mods that fix some of these things. I downloaded them immediately. But the battle difficulty must be better, yeah? The enemies have better strategies. It is harder. The AI thinks in a lot of different ways. And nope, let's not make the AI better. It does not matter. The AI still stupidly charges your line the same way on easy and on hard difficulty. No change. But we have a great idea how to do it. The Good way to make it challenging. Not only we gonna bump up the stats of the enemy troops, we gonna lower the players ones. And what a bloody good idea that is. Well, the battles involve even less strategy on the harder difficulties. And encourage very limited playstyle as well. For example, the melee units. You have a bunch of them, they are amazing. But on the harder difficulties, they are kinda useless. You cannot use them. The enemy melee troops become so much stronger. They just dumpster your infantry. You still don't believe me? All right, let's have a fight. The same unit against the same unit with very hard difficulty settings. And what can we see? My units are losing and the enemy is left with half of the health left. Me from the future, guys. I have tried it some more and yeah, I was lying. It happened to me just once that it was half HP. Usually it is around third, but the main point is your melee troops cannot win against the same tier opponent, rendering them not usable. Uh, totally not making the melee units absolutely useless. The whole thing changing the stats of the units just pisses me off. The developer just takes a finger and ram it up your butt. It is so low effort. It is more challenging, but the challenge is rage-inducing and it just takes the fun 
out of the goddamn game. But you will still have to play on the higher difficulties because otherwise it would be too easy. This is not where it ends, other games have it as well. Take for example some Paradox games, hmm, Hearts of Iron 4, one of my most favorite games. I played it for 400 hours, but what kept me playing till 1000 hours? Besides the late game paradox lag, it is the difficulty settings. Because it is so much fun to have challenge by having to weaken yourself and make the AI just start stronger. Where is the time? When the difficulty was high, the AI was actually smarter. It is a bloody computer game. AI is capable of controlling every unit at the same time. Insane while it is researching, building the best things he can, controlling the navy, controlling air combat, choosing specific places to make the bombardment, while maintaining the perfect distribution of planes. But nah, we cannot make the AI do it smarter and make competitive builds. You will just take the slider, push it to the right, make them so much stronger, just start buffing them, while taking your slider and pulling it right to the left so you are weak. So much fun, yay, cannot wait to do it all the time. Did I mention it is pissing me off? So how to fix it? Shockingly enough, make the AI smarter as the difficulty rises, like in games like Killing 4 2. But alright, you don't want to make the AI smarter. Here's another way to do it. This takes us to the point of the video and the topic that I actually wanted to talk about. Figure it out. The game I wanted to talk about is they are Billions, a strategy game that has one of the most exciting difficulties you can pretty much imagine. The point of this game is simple, you build up your city and defend huge waves of zombies. But Uran, what does it have to do with difficulty? Because the difficulty has two options, first of all, is the time limit when the hordes arrive, so how much time you have to build. And if you're gonna play this game, I recommend always put it to 100 it is a perfect balance of things and then you have the other difficulty settings and what's best about it it is not the weird stat change left and right no bumping up the health of the zombies or their attacks it is pretty simple it will just increase how many zombies are on the map and how many will attack you it is perfect so the best strategy difficulty i have ever played with it is a pretty amazing claim to claim, I guess. I will walk you through it and hopefully you will see what I see. You start simple, you have your base and now you are against the time limit. Because you know the horde is coming and it is coming pretty soon. So you have to build up enough to have defenses to defend against that wave. And it isn't that simple just getting your first army because each horde that will come will become stronger. So you will have to think about your economy so you can build powerful enough army to defend yourself against the final wave. The goal is simple, survive till the time runs out, which you chose for me 100 days. And that's the best part is you are always against the clock. That means it is always engaging. As you try to maximize building your city the most efficient way so you have the resources necessary, you also have to Take your small army and start clearing out zombies so you have place to build. But you have to be careful because if your guys get overrunned, there is no coming back. This game runs only on iron mode, so no saves coming for us. This brings us to only one aggravating thing about this game. When one little zombie goes past your defense, starts scratching your buildings, pretty much your whole base will die because the infection will spread so fast. So we build scratch balls and hope it doesn't happen. Finally, we can afford barracks so we can build more troops and clear out the things faster and make it more safe. You keep pushing your troops so they clear out the zombie ways and also sometimes they do level up. As we repair the radar tower, now we can see all the zombies all around us. There's quite a lot of them. This one is one of the easier maps and it is also one of my favorite, but it's not that simple. Here we can see doom villages. If we are not careful, 
and our troops will make good enough sound, they will aggro the village and you can say bye bye to your game. It is nearing the horde day, we are making sure we have some resources left so we can react to the direction. The horde is coming from east, but where is east? You have to make sure because sometimes you will mess up west from east and you are in big trouble, so keep an eye out on it. We defeated the horde, yeah the first one is like a, a couple, but all the things increase over time and you know what's coming so you're always on edge, which is a positive, because at no time while I was playing this map, which is few hours, I was bored, you are always on edge and as I said it is a good thing, you keep building, defeating a horde, building, defeating a horde, there is no time to take a breather and it is a good thing, you can put this on low difficulty and you have a time to breathe, but that is boring at least for me if any of you guys play this game or will give it a try i encourage you take for example 100 days and then have always the hardest difficulty you can manage if there is a time in your gameplay where you feel oh i have a lot of time on my hands i can do whatever i want it is too easy bump that boy up and at the hardest difficulties you have to try your best to survive and this is on a brutal difficulty i usually play on nightmare but still i have some pretty hectic moments for example i told you your units can get loud and they can pull stuff well i kind of pulled giant in the wrong time i did not expect and it was mayhem i played this game for some time i was surprised and i know i cannot save scum this is the moment my heart is beating because my progress can be lost we have huge stakes this giant is tough it is rampaging through my buildings and i'm like oh my god let's build a wall what do we do we have to send everyone here and the zombies all around the map are still coming after me so this is pretty intense thank god somehow we managed to survive it was close and now not only it is intense because hordes are coming our way but this giant made a dent in our timeline not only we have no time left so we have to prepare the army but he set us back people have died problem on our hands and this is a perfect difficulty it isn't a bullshit way of increasing the stats of the enemy there are no stronger zombies on the nightmare mode that means you don't feel scum all of your units deal the same damage you don't feel weaker you just feel you have to have more epic stuff and all the epic stuff you have built will be thrown against more epic enemies which are the same strength but there's more of them that means the challenge is exciting you cannot wait to encounter the next huge way coming to your wave and face it against your best of your guys and there's no bullshit everything is the same strength that it is not easy or a nightmare one daba and then the last horde comes on a nightmare difficult it is a bit more epic but from every side everywhere they come and your base has to stood up i found out that one place of my base was let's say a bit weaker so every bloody zombie got there and they started to break through which is kind of a trouble many lives were lost that day people were screaming and running once every other front was defeated we had to send everyone back there this thing could have gone better because i kind of forgot when you put the map limit on 100 days the final way doesn't actually come on day 100 but sooner so i was like oh no it is coming sooner i kind of forgot the big thing from this video is that the difficulty in the game shouldn't be done by increasing the stats of the enemy units and for example decreasing the players the only thing it does it makes the game feel unfair and unfulfilling you can make the difficulty amazing by either increasing the smartness of the AI so it has more move. It isn't that stupid, yeah? Or you, as I keep mentioning, don't increase the stats, but 
you increase the amount that come or just make the time for the response shorter like in there are billions you will make the game exciting all the way through without making the challenge feel like a chore but that's just my opinion you guys have probably a lot of other opinions like what do you think makes the difficulty great or tell me about a game that you feel that has a great difficulty settings hope you enjoyed guys leave a like subscribe and all that amazing stuff it helps a small youtuber out and also it helps the algorithm i hope you enjoyed i will see you next time ciao ciao and take care